true story. During the first Thanksgiving that my partner spent with my family, he captured this picture of us slumbering after our feast. Blame it on the trip to fan. Is the trip to fan and the turkey turning us into sleeping beauties? Let's science this. Hey there, I'm Dr. Lara and this is your nourishable snack. The story of tryptophan in turkey making us sleepy has been perpetuated through the years. Deep down, there is a kernel of truth to it. Tryptophan is an amino acid. There are 20 different types of amino acids that are the building blocks to make proteins. When we eat the amino acid tryptophan, it can travel through our blood and enter our brain where it can be converted into serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter with many functions in the brain, including modulating sleep and mood. Melatonin is a hormone produced by the brain that regulates your sleep-wake cycles. When melatonin is high, you become sleepy. So yes, tryptophan can make you tired, but it's a matter of how much tryptophan you're eating and what else you're eating it with. When you consume a four ounce serving of turkey, it contains about 350 milligrams of tryptophan. And that's a similar amount found in other meats like beef and chicken. So turkey is not uniquely high in tryptophan. When you eat a meal that contains sources of protein, like that turkey drumstick, a whole bunch of the other amino acids are going to be competing with tryptophan to get into the brain, meaning that less tryptophan will be able to get in. Studies looking at the effect of tryptophan on sleep use much higher doses, anywhere from 500 milligrams up to five grams. And these doses were taken on an empty stomach so that tryptophan didn't have to compete with the other amino acids to get into the brain. The moral of the story is that the tryptophan in Turkey isn't inducing our post Thanksgiving snoozes. Why do we feel sleepy after our Thanksgiving meal? It has much more to do with the huge quantities that we tend to consume. Seconds, please. When we eat a large meal, most of our blood will get diverted towards the intestine to help us digest and absorb all the nutrients that we just consumed. Mix in some alcohol and you've got the recipe for a post-meal nap. And that's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. If you like what you're learning, please share, subscribe, and click the bell for new video alerts.